I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and it shouldn't surprise you at all that I'm thrifting again. Whoever put together this shelf seemed to have my fireplace in mind. Just look at all of the details on this clock. I'm almost tempted to go back to the store and see if they still have it, but I don't have room for many more things on the fireplace mantle, and I don't need another clock that doesn't work in my life, so it's probably best I passed it up. Also, look at this little bear candle holder. He is neat and would fit our old farmhouse just perfectly. But there's a limit to what I can bring home. This is a Diane Phelan print, and it was her images that got me into cross-stitching in the first place, so I'm always drawn to those. I do think I have this one as a pattern. The dog is what drew me to the shelf in the first place. He is just so something and the colors on that cabin. My daughter's been looking for a beverage container like this for her wedding that wasn't tacky. We hadn't even tried the thrift stores, and that one holds five gallons. I might need to tell her it's there. Tell me your theories about this aquarium scene. I really want to know who made an apocalypse scene in an aquarium and why. And I really hope, even though I know it's totally not practical, that they were keeping a tarantula or something in there, like a 1950s horror movie. Big bag of zippers. I've got zippers already. And the only cross-stitch kit I found all day, it was a dimension stamped kit that looked like someone might have already started it. Assuming that kit is what was in that bag. And look at this crocheted dress. There was some craftsmanship there and it was soft yarn and I just can't get over that color combination. I hope it finds a home. I know that this is antiquing, but he just, I don't understand. And that bird looks like it is daring you to touch his birdhouse. Is this a cow? I know it's a cow, but I can't convince myself that it's a cow. And there's an origami box of some sort that made me wonder if it came from the store that way or if someone had made it. And just hang with me for a moment. There is another bird that looks like it wants to bite you. This was the day of angry looking birds. More wandering, more bric-a-brac. I have seen more of these little, I think they were 1970s statuettes lately. And I don't know if it's just that I started looking and they have always been there, but they weren't on my radar. I'm seeing them in pretty much every store. And I would swear I hadn't seen one in years before that. But I also haven't been looking at the bric-a-brac as much until I started filming these videos. So maybe that's it. Here's a pen holder. I know that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't know what the other landmarks are. It was interesting. The thing, guessing that is a church in the middle from the shape of the building. You look at things differently when you're filming these videos and then I get home and I wonder what on earth did I have that camera focused on and why? More steins. I am going to wind up with a stein for the fireplace. It is just a matter of time. These were two matching sets of two, and the price was high enough to keep me from being tempted by them. I really need to, like, rotate my fireplace decor. More clocks I do not need. I don't know why I'm always looking at the clocks and the lamps, which I also do not have a place in my life for. But this guy, I think my oldest son might have wanted to bring that home. So it's probably good that he decided to hang out in the car instead of coming and thrift with me. And that is about the, yeah, this was a quick trip just into a couple shops that we like that we hadn't been to for a while. Thank you so much for watching. I am Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle and yard sale season is, or estate sale, barn sale. All the good sales are in full swing, so I'm spending a little less time in the thrift shops, but I do stop when I can. And I always appreciate you watching the videos. I will keep 
filming them as I am able to find things that are interested in interesting enough to share. Sometimes there is nothing. I will see you again soon.